Hello? What's up, Kendra? Hey, baby. You've been here before. Oh, goddamn, I have. Okay. <laughs> when you talk like that, you must have an update. So what's Oh, up? I got an update, baby. You ready? I'm ready. I made some notes, Kendra. I, I got seven of them. I don't know if you can handle them all. You can cut me off at any time, okay? No, I'm going to let you rock. So, okay. okay. So, so uh, one thing, first of all, hey, I it was it was definitely an enjoyable ride, um, but I think, man, there's definitely some things that people should know before they come on your show. Okay. And that it was overwhelming as hell. Uh, over 4,000 messages, over 1,000 friend requests um it got to the point where facebook sent me a notification uh basically telling me i'm trying to pull it up for you so they know i ain't capping um what did it say what did the notification say what does it say well no that's just showing the oh, over the th thousand so it what? stops you at a thousand okay i had women hitting me up saying hey look it ain't letting me send you a friend request um the the notification was like um it, it basically it was saying if I don't do something with the messages, it's going to start deleting my oldest message. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it, it was definitely overwhelming, and that's not how I'm used to dating. So I didn't put a lot of thought on it when I jumped on your show. I just got excited and, uh, you know, wanted to jump on the show and, and see what was happening. But it was it was happening too goddamn much. Um, so, yeah, that, that's not how I'm used to dating. I'm kind of used to dating just one at a time, and it was kind of hard to manage. 4,000 messages, you know. I want to jump in. I want you to continue, but you're, you're bringing up a good point that I try to convey a lot. Like, the, the, in the numbers game, in the numbers game, the odds are in the men's favor in the numbers game. When a quality guy comes on the show and keeps himself together, I think you're attractive, Jose. I it appreciate it. Like, they get two to 3,000, and this is not even... Two to three thousand. Two to three thousand. He's saying four women. So I just want ladies to understand. I don't believe in competition, but I do believe in data and numbers. All right. So you got that many women. So yeah. I guess you find your wife because with that. Oh hell no. No, 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 no. I'm finna oh, I'm finna get to it. So here go the second one. So the first little note was that it's overwhelming, right? Okay. The second thing was like stalkers. I had women that found my phone number. They were texting me. They was calling my business phone. One woman demanded, like, like, look, I'm gonna hit you up until you respond to me. It, it, it was it was out of control. Yeah, it, it definitely it definitely got out of pocket, you know, especially when they started hitting up my my business with the with the foolishness. Um uh one thing was you know I, I and I dated a couple of them and don't get me wrong, I ain't finna trash talk not one of them women. Um but I had a few women that you know came out or whatever and we hung out um one of them i thought was y'all drug her because she came on the show well anyway let me tell the story so um she came and what we did was she bought a one-way ticket and then she just stayed until she was ready to go and uh so she stayed for about four or five days and we had a, i felt like we had a great time um i saw a lot of qualities that i liked and whatnot and uh but the part that kind of threw me for a loop is she went back on a Saturday. So I took her to the airport Saturday morning and uh, Saturday evening. She was on the Kendra show trying, trying to find her man. But she was telling me I had all the characteristics, but then jumped on your show. So y'all spent five days together. You thought it was a good time. Yep, She said it was a good time. Went back, jumped on the Kendra show. Y'all drug her. They drug her through the mud. Uh, so maybe I missed something. But, uh, now, real quick, did she mention to me that she dated you? Nope. Oh, she did. Nope. Uh, and then was begging, you know, the Jose, please, please, Jose, it's not like that. <laughs> no, it's, no, you good, good luck. Um, the other thing was like when I say manly, it was some manly women. So Break I, I think, manly for educational purpose. What are you? Well, I'm gonna, you know me, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Um, what I mean by that is and maybe I was slow with it. I mean, I could have been slow with it. I, I'll take that if that's what it was. But when I say I'm going to buy the ticket, I'm going to buy the ticket. You know what I'm saying? I had women that I guess I wasn't moving fast enough on picking dates. They bought their own ticket. Like they picked the date. They called me like, hey, I'm going to be there on this day. I'm like, well, I, 
you know, don't get me wrong. I, it's cool to, it, it feels good to know that a woman is that into you, but at the same time, you gotta, you gotta let the man, you gotta let me do what I do. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like buying a ticket was a little pushy. If you let me do it, men that want a woman, we going it's going to happen. We coming. Like you, you don't need to do shit. If a man is into you, he calling, he ain't too busy. Even if he go take his shit on his lunch break, he, he going to text you. Hey, what's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Why he dropping one? You know what I mean? Oh, God. I'm just saying like me, there is no such thing as a man is too busy. That's all I'm getting at. And so if I didn't buy the ticket, that mean one of two things. That mean I wasn't into you maybe perhaps, but it damn sure didn't mean go buy your own ticket. So those women that bought their own tickets, you, you were turned off by that. Well, I wasn't turned off only by that. So, so like one of them, we talked for like five months because I was on her in like November. Um, we talked for like five months, but then it was dry as fuck though. Like every morning, it was like a good morning. Every night was like a good night. We ain't really talked throughout the day. Uh, she actually came here twice. Um, and then she was like, so what's up after this? And I'm like, well, you know, she was looking for like the next steps. And I'm like, well, hey, like what's my favorite color? Like, so we done done five months, but we ain't, this ain't been no five months of substance. This has been five months of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? This has been five months of like, I'm in the penitentiary and you my pen pal. You know what I mean? Like it was no real. Death. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't no substance. Long story short. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, what number are we on? You said he has seven things to tell me. What's uh, the okay. So I'm moving to the next. The other one's real short. Uh, some of them wanted to be chased. So here's my thing. I'm all about courting a woman. Look, ain't now one of the women gonna come on your show and say, I didn't open the door, that I didn't buy every, that I didn't spend, that they ain't pull out their wallet nine times after the ones that bought their ticket. Um, ain't, ain't none of them finna tell you I ain't showing mad love while they was here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but some women, uh, it was one, her, her name was Stacy in the beginning. I use her little name, but uh, her name was Stacy in the beginning. I felt like, I thought she was, she had some qualities, but um, they, they want to be chased in, in, in the sense that uh, 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 just because they're a woman. And my thing is, look, you got to show me something that's worth chasing. You, you got to give me something that's worth chasing. Like, I, like, I don't know. I go to your Facebook and I see a picture of your ass cheeks perched up on the sink in the bathroom. But I don't see no, I don't see no sandwiches. I don't see a steak made. I don't, you, you ain't got curtains on your rods in, in, in the living room. Uh, right now, let me turn, I'm sorry about that. Turn it off. See, now they hit me up again, probably. Um, but they want they want to be chased, and they, you got to give me something to chase. Lion, lions, if he got a chance to to chase a healthy fat ass zebra or a gecko, the lion chasing the zebra, something that's worth chasing. So that that's that. Um, had a great time. Oh, I already talked about her, so I already, I jumped the gun on that one. Um. I definitely learned uh, that I need to meet women organically. And then, like you say, uh, Kendra, you say this shit, but it's the truth, though. And yo, hey, hey, look, I enjoy your show even though I don't even want shit no more. Um, but I agree. Organically is the way I need to meet a woman. I, I just got to meet her face to face. So I'm just going to have to travel uh, uh, and get out a little bit more because this internet shit ain't it. Well, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me, let, let me clarify that statement. Okay. I am on record and I do stand by this. Your highest probability is meeting somebody in person. Yeah. Of finding, it, it is your highest probability. So when you're going out, because I have people, literally I had a girl that was at a white party mm -hmm. and she left the white party to talk to me. And I said, girl, you are at a white party. Look around the room. Are there any men in your room? So I love that you guys call my show. And I, I mean, so I don't want y'all to take away from that, but 100%. because I know the goal is y'all really want to find someone. I do feel as though my show should be second on your list. I don't want you to negate your real life because your real life is always going to be your highest probability of finding someone. Yep. Um, last two, Kendra. Uh, so <laughs> some, something else I noticed, uh, I call this a uh, male insurance. I feel like a lot of these I'm not saying all. I'm talking about the ones that I encounter. Okay, uh, they looking for male insurance policy. That's what I call it. So what that is is they like to have. They want. They want what I said. I, I can give, but they want to still be friends with Pookie and Ray Ray and Leroy. You know what I mean? 
And, and, and so what they like to do is they like to have one that'll pay the bills, one that'll make them laugh, one that'll... I ain't, I'm not going to be your male insurance policy. Either you ready to commit, either you ready to commit all the way, or you ain't. But what I'm not going to be is a spare tire. You know, you know how the spare tire work. You know, motherfucker don't never check on the spare tire until they need it. Right? I, I'm not going to be your spare tire or your male insurance policy. So unless you're unless you done with all that other shit that that attention seeking and and talking to 50 million dudes i'm i'm good i'm not i'm not going to be the male insurance policy and then the last one Kendra is i learned uh that just maybe i'm way too busy uh there may be a woman eventually one day for me uh but two significant pretty pretty significant events happened uh after i was on your show uh one my daughter moved back in with me so she kind of became uh, not she half has grown, but still, she a priority to me. And then the uh, you know, and then I I started uh becoming a pilot. So uh, I got my private pilot's license now. So um, so just you know, learning how to fly, and then flying. Um, I just way too busy. Uh, and maybe I wasn't as ready as I as I thought I was. Based upon and what I mean by that is giving a woman the quality time that she deserves. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay, okay, think, we got to go, but just for clarity, where are you calling me from again? Uh, Arizona. And how old are you? 44. Have you ever been married? Yep. When did you get divorced? Shit. Uh, 2002. Oh, years Two. ago. How many yeah. kids do you have? I got four. One deceased, and then my two stepchildren, and then my one biological that's still alive. Okay. And okay, and this is his recap of his experience on the show. And as you're saying, moving forward, you don't want anybody else to send you no more DMs. I'm good. Oh, All right, Jose. Well, I hope you find your, your your special somebody. I will, Kendra. Hey, and I appreciate you. No shit, for real. Appreciate you. Okay, no problem. Bye, All right. Jose. All right, later. Bye, Jose.